Hi. You may work with some data stored in spreadsheet files such as CSV or XLSX, the usual Excel file formats. Of course, one usual way to open these files and work with them is to use Microsoft Office Excel, which you see a preview of its environment in its homepage here. Or you can use a free alternative competitor of it, LibreOffice Calc. If I were the designer of its homepage, I would put a preview of its environment in this page. But anyway, we still can see a preview of its window at its Wikipedia page, which looks familiar, similar to Excel or Google Sheet. But what if you are working in VS Code Editor for your project and you are not interested in opening and closing another window to see your spreadsheet files? Maybe you don't have Excel or Calc installed on your machine or you just feel more comfortable to have everything inside one window. In that case, do not worry. There are VS Code extensions developed to see spreadsheet files. Here we will introduce two of them to you. Before going ahead, let's try opening some spreadsheet files in VS Code without having any extensions installed or enabled. I'm using VS Code version 1.78.2. Maybe in future releases the situation be different. But for now, if I click on an XLSX file, I'll get the warning that the file cannot be displayed. CSV files can be open, but you won't get any fancy table representation of the data. It looks as if it is just a TXT file. Now let me introduce you to VS Code extensions, which at this date are the top two common extensions for seeing spreadsheet files inside VS Code. The first one is called Excel Viewer. You can search it in the extension search field here by starting to type Excel Viewer and then click Install. After that, you should be able to view spreadsheet files. Let's try by clicking on our XLSX file. Just be aware that at some older versions of Excel Viewer, the users were seeing some strange license message popping up and it was reported. Here you can see a screenshot of this situation posted by a Stack Overflow user. And here is the original post asking about the license warning. It is also reported on their GitHub page. If that happens for you, just uninstall the Excel Viewer from your VS Code by going to Extensions and clicking on Uninstall. Then go to this link, which I put it in the description below the video and click on download in front of a different version number of Excel Viewer that is known to not have this issue. Today, the version 4.2.57 is a safe one. Then you should receive a .vsix file. To install a VS Code extension using a VSIX file, go to Extensions, Click on the three dots and choose Install from VSIX. Then choose the file and click Install. Now let's head back to the XLSX file. 
you can see the content of the file in a nice table display. You can also do some simple modification, such as changing value of some cells, even typing some simple familiar Excel formulas. For example, here I type equal sum parentheses open D2 colon H2 parentheses close and hit enter. You can even automatically extend this action to the cells below with a simple drag and drop of a mouse. For that, select a cell, hover your mouse on the right bottom corner of the cell and drag and drop to select the range where the formula should be applied. You can do a few more things such as inserting or deleting rows and columns. Just right click on a cell and choose the action of your interest, for example, insert row. Or this time, delete a row. Do some simple filtering or changing name of a sheet. For that, double click on a sheet name and then start typing the new name. Or adding or deleting sheets. Again, double click on the name of a sheet then right click and choose insert or now choose delete. Okay, enough of Excel viewer. Let's go to the second extension. The second extension is called office viewer. In the extensions, start typing office viewer. Choose the one with markdown editor in front. After installation, it may ask you to choose a different color theme. I prefer to choose the old one. Now, let's open the XLSX file again. This time it looks more similar to an Excel or a Google Sheet environment. You can do everything you could do using Excel Viewer plus some more. For example, using background color, text color, making texts bold or italic, changing font, size, or format of the data. You have filter, function, phrasing cells, and text wrapping options. But remember that these extensions do not have all options of Excel or Calc. Let's do a repeated test of a formula and extending it. works as expected. Just for the record, let's open a CSV file too. Doesn't look like a text file anymore, does it? In case you are curious, this file is a COVID data publicly available from UK government website. Its link is in the description below. Just click on download data, scroll down, Choose the format that you like and click on the download data. Oh, well, as it says here, first choose a metric. So scroll up, uh, click here, choose one of them and then head back to download. Now it is clear cable. Now, just to see one reason why some people use these extensions, let's say I want to read the data from this XLSX file and use a Python code to manipulate or process the data and store the result in a new file. Let's split the editor and move the spreadsheet to the right side. Just drag and drop and look for the correct docking site preview. Now I open my .py file. Whatever this file does, you can check in our upcoming video about manipulating Excel or spreadsheet files via 
Python. I just run this Python code and then open the created file here still inside VS Code. So that is for today. I hope it was useful for you. If you have any question or got any error message, leave a comment below. Maybe we can help you or refer you to somewhere else.